In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate and access your Library 50 class in Canvas, and I'm going to show you how to download and submit assignments in Library 50 also. And so the first thing we do is we go to our Library 50 homepage, and yours will look something like this because they all look pretty much the same. And you're going to see course tools at the very top, and you'll see under course tools probably a link to your class syllabus your uh, the MPC library homepage and if you need to get help with Canvas we have a link there too. But the main part of the class is under class units and so as you notice we have eight units and a final exam quiz for this class. So I want to show you some of the things that are going to be going on in Library 50 here. So I'm going to click on unit number one. And unit number one once I click on that it takes me to the unit one homepage and the unit one homepage has all the things that you need to read and do for that uh, unit. And so this one, it gives you the due date right here. And at the very top, you'll see things that you need to read. And so the first thing you see is an overview. And this is the first place you should go to when you go to the class. So I'm going to click on overview. And what this is, is an overview of the units. And so this is what the instructor wants you to read, what, what, what they want you to do, um, any instructions, any specifics. So you always want to read the overview for each unit first. So here's that. I'm going to go back to the unit page here. And You'll notice there's a second thing here and you'll see it's a lesson. Now there's no book for Library 50 so what you need to do is you need to read the lesson for each unit and my recommendation is to have the assignment in front of you and then go ahead and read the lesson because there are a lot of answers in there. Um, this is very important to read the lesson so you know what's going on. So I'm going to click on the lesson for unit number one. And it's going to take me to this module page here and as you can see here are the pages here. Read lesson one, here's the due date and here are the different pages. And so this is kind of a long one. So I'm going to go to the first page here. And what you want to do is take a look at the page. And I'm seeing answers to questions already here. OK, you want to read the page and you want to go to the next page. And you want to go through all the pages. And once you go through all the pages, you will see the very last page of the lesson. And it tells you that you're done. You can now go and do your assignments and you have a link back to the unit. So I'm going to click back to unit number one and come down here and anything below the reads are usually what's due. So in this case, unit number one has a quiz. It also has two assignments. Okay, so I'm going to go to the quiz really quickly. Click on the quiz that I want to take and what you want to do is read the instructions. And once you read the instructions, you want to take the quiz. So I'm going to take the quiz and once you take the quiz, You'll submit it. And the good thing about Library 50 is that you can take the quiz as many times as you'd like and we automatically take the highest score. So now I'm going to go back to the unit. And unit one has a submission. So in this case, I have a student introduction biography. So in order to do the student introduction biography, you want to click on that. And what you want to do is submit assignment. Click on Submit Assignment, and what you do is you type in your biography and submit the assignment. And once you do that, it'll tell you that you've done it, submission details turned in, and you're good. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to the unit page. And so I'm going to go back to here and back to the unit. And now we're back at the Unit 1 homepage. And if you look at the very bottom, you'll see assignments that need to be downloaded and submitted. And most of the units have this, so you want to keep an eye out for that. These are also the most important aspects of the class, so you want to make sure you do all the assignments. And so here we have a, an assignment to download, so I'm going to click on assignment number one, and I'm going to download it and save it. And so here it is. I'm going to put my name at, on the assignment here. And I'm going to save it and now I can work on the assignment. So I'm going to open it back up and it's in Microsoft Word format. So that means it could be opened up in any word processor. And once you work on it, what you want to do is you want to um, save it as, as either a PDF or, or a Word document and submit it in that format because that's the format that our, uh, that our class takes. So I'm going to click on Enable Editing and I am looking at the lessons, I am looking at websites, I'm doing whatever the assignment tells me to do, and I'm finding the answers, and I'm typing them in, as you can see here. Okay. And I'm periodically 
hitting the save button because I want to make sure I want to save all my work just in case there's a power outage or anything like that. And once you're done doing the assignment, you want to save it again as a Word document or a PDF file and close it out. Okay, now we're going to submit the assignment. And so what you want to do is you want to come down here to where it says submit and assignment number one. I'm going to click on the submit assignment number one link. And here's the information about it. it tells you when it's due. And I'm going to click submit assignment right here. And so submitting an assignment is a lot like attaching a file to your email. So what I want to do is I'm going to choose the file and I have it in my downloads file. Here's my completed assignment right here. So I'm going to click on that and click open. And there's my assignment I've submitted. I can add any comments if, if I want to down here. But once you're ready, you can submit the assignment. And once you successfully submit the assignment, you'll see turned in. It gives you the dates. It gives you any information here. Let's say you, you submitted the wrong file and that happens. All you have to do is come back to resubmit assignment and re-upload the correct file. Okay. So now I'm done with that, and I'm going to go back to the unit page really quickly to see if there's anything else that needs to be done. And it looks like I've done everything. So I have the syllabus quiz, the biography, and the assignment submitted. Okay, now there's a few other links here on the page, so I'm going to go back and hit home. So now we're back at the class home page, and if you look to the left, there are some links here and over here to the far left. So I want, I want to explain a couple of these links that are important here. And first of all, the link to grades. If you notice, there's a number one here. Something's been graded. So I'm going to click on grades. And once you come here, you'll see all the assignments. And as you can see, I took the quiz. I got a 28 out of 28 that automatically got graded. So that's the one that's been graded. I have submitted assignment number one. There's no grade yet, okay? But once the instructor decides to grade it, you'll see a number there. You should also get a notice in your school email that it's been graded. And same down here with the student introduction biography. It's been submitted but not given a score yet. But what you wanna do is you wanna click on grades and keep track of your grades for the class and whatnot. Okay, so for everything that's been graded so far, I have 100%. A couple of other links, though, are links to the MPC library, student resources. Those are kind of important. But over here to the far left, if you click on Dashboard, that'll take you back to the Canvas homepage and the list of all your classes. Down here, though, we have a link to the calendar. So if I click on Calendar, it gives you a link to everything that's due coming up. So for example, today is March 7th. You can see, or you can see things are due on March 7th here, a couple of things, a quiz and an assignment on the 28th for this class, a couple of things are due. So you want to take a look at your calendar and the calendar shows uh, things that are due for all your classes, not just the Library 50 class. And a very important link is the inbox. So I'm gonna come over here and click on the inbox. And once I click on inbox, it'll take me to the inbox. And this is an important thing that you need to check every at least two to three days. We use the inbox to communicate with you. And so if anything changes, if we have any reminders, any specific things, they'll be coming to you in the inbox. So make sure you click on the inbox and you'll see incoming emails to the left and you'll see the email right here. So here's a re reminder from one of our instructors to his class. Okay, so make sure you do that. And if you wanna contact your instructor, you can come up here and compose a new message and contact your instructor that way or call them or email them at their regular email and whatnot. So this is a quick overview of how you access and navigate around your Library 50 class. If something doesn't make sense, if you have any questions, feel free to contact your instructor. You can email them, you can call them, or you can come up to the library reference desk and we can help you out there. Uh, we all teach this class, so we all know what's going on, so feel free to ask questions if you have any.